Hello guys and very welcome to this weekly update on my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer. And today it's uh, finally time to start this motor up. So my plan now is to uh, connect my battery modules and uh, hopefully I will have some power and don't burn down everything here. And uh, well after that we will of course see if we can have this motor to spin. So as always, very welcome and I really hope that you enjoy this episode. So here we go guys! So here are the bus bars that I am installing to the modules and it is very temporary because they are way too thin so my plan here is just to try everything out and after that I will of course change those bus bars out. And these ratchet here are of course designed to work with those voltages that we have here. So now all the bus bars are in place and uh, it is now time to measure the pack voltage here. So we have a pack voltage at uh, 379.8 volts and that's around 80% uh, state of charge. And now I am disconnecting the service connector here that is also very temporary. And when I am doing so, I have divided the battery pack in the middle, so the voltage will now be 190 volt-ish. So it's a little more safe to work with, now when I will uh, connect those balance leads here. And each and every balance leads will hold up to 12 cells, so we have 12 cells in one module. So in total there we have 8 modules and 96 cells. And you did see that in the beginning of this video, of course. So it's really hard to reach everything here. And uh, I speed this up a little bit here. So you don't have to wait for everything. So it's time to uh, connect the service plug again. and try this out. So now the high voltage battery is active and it's time to connect the 12 volt battery here. And it's now time to turn on the ignition. However, I am actually a little nervous. Maybe not just uh, to get an electric shock now because that part is pretty much over. Uh, but I'm afraid if something is going on here that uh, everything will go down. That's my biggest concern here. So, um, it would be great to have the car on the outside, but no, I don't have that. So I really need to try this inside here. Alright guys, here we go. So I will now turn on the ignition. Three, two, one. And uh, <laughs> I forgot that I have, of course, no fuse. I just forgot to insert those fuses here. So I have one fuse for the BMS and the resolver, the motor ECU, and then I have another one 
for the inverter so I really need to uh, insert those first of course All right. the fuse is now inserted All right, let's do this again. Three, two, one. And I did only hear one click, so we are not live yet. Oh. So what I now have done is that I have measured all the negative and all the positive connections here to the PDM and to the inverter and the BMS and also the ECU itself of course but I cannot find anything wrong with it it all seems to be right but finally I find the fault here and it was completely my self to blame here so um, I will try to show you here So here is the battery heating system that the LEAF are using. You will find this inside of the high voltage battery there. So um, here we have the terminal, the low voltage terminal to that uh, battery heating uh, ECU. And you can see that here is the terminal to the high voltage relay unit. Also the low voltage plug here. That's why I am touching it with my bare hands right now. By the way, the battery is now disconnected. Uh, however, this connector here will actually fit into this battery heating control module. So I had made a mistake here and switched those connectors. So the battery heating connector was mistakenly sitting into the high voltage relay uh, unit here and uh, vice versa. So. Um, yeah now it's time to turn on the ignition again so this was future me back to the video all right i am now ready to put on the ignition and uh, i am not listening to music here i am using my airpods as a sound dampener because if there is a short and you have this kind of voltage, it will be a very low bang there. Here we go. In uh, three, two, one. Yes! I did hear two clicks there. So we should now be good to go. So what will the little display say here? Yeah, 76% and we are in neutral. <laughs> Great. So let's turn on the ignition again. And we are on. And now I will just uh, connect those two wires together and we should go into drive mode. I will apply the brake there and we have drive so let's give it some gas and it is not working that's strange problems hmm. okay the gas pedal wasn't connected I have just leave it there
Okay, let's try this one more time. So ignition on. Let's put it in drive. There we have it, guys. The very first drive <laughs> of the motor in this car. <laughs> that is just amazing. <laughs>that was intense well now we know it is working and I can finally go on here with the other stuff that needs to be done and by the way as you probably already have seen here I have done a lot of work this week with the car I have of course uh, wired everything here the low voltage uh, part also to this uh, Nissan Leaf motor it did took some hours, the gas pedal that I missed to connect the wire there, I have just uh, I had just connected into the socket, so I know where I should put the wire, but not clicked it in, so that's why in the last part there I did not have the motor to spin. And then I also have uh, finished up all the cooling system here, I only missed this small hose here between the expansion and the canister and uh, the radiator here. Uh, otherwise the water pump and the radiator fan everything is connected and uh, Well the water pump I have tested that one, but I don't have tested the uh, cooling fan yet because uh, I have not charged it or Run it run it so it will be hot. So therefore I have not tested that one. So it needs to be done later So uh, yeah a lot of work and uh, I am super Super happy that you guys are watching this video. I am uh, really loving that. So please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down in the comment section there. And hopefully I will see you next time. So uh, take care guys and have a great time.